فكلمه يلقيها معالي السيد راتو ايونكي كوبوالوا وزير الخارجيه والتعاون الدولي والطيران المدني لجزر فيجي وليتفضل Distinguished co-chairs, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, may I, on behalf of the peoples and the government of Fiji, take this opportunity to thank the Secretary General for his foresight in proposing and this assembly for endorsing the convening of this high-level Millennium Development Goals Progress Review Summit. From the survey of our collective progress made thus far, and as we look forward to 2015, it is now apparent that the bright spots of progress have differed from one country to the other. With respect to the status in meeting the MDGs, Fiji has made progress in achieving all of the eight goals. The Fiji second report indicates that we are on track to achieve five out of the eight goals by 2015. This include MDG 2, achieve universal primary education, MDG 4, reduce child mortality, MDG 5, reduce mater maternal mortality, MDG 7, ensure environmental sustainability, and MDG 8, develop a global partner partnership for development. The report also suggests that it will be a major challenge to achieve three goals vis-a-vis -vis MDG 1 eradicate extreme poverty and hunger, MDG 3, promote gender equality and empower women, and MDG 6, combat HIV AIDS and other diseases. The government is fully committed and positive that these goals are realized. Co-chair, while MDG 2 has already been effectively achieved in Fiji through strong and effective education policies of critical, critical concern to us, is the eradication of extreme poverty, MDG1. We have identified a number of factors that have contributed to Fiji's constraints in making even progress on the MDGs. Those factors include the global financial crisis, the volatility of global oil prices, which has led to inflationary pressures, thus reducing real incomes and pushing those at the threshold of poverty into poverty, unresolved political challenges, which has had a negative effect on investment, exports, and employment growth, thus contributing to poverty and unproductive use of land resources. While the, two, while the first two factors are effectively beyond the control of a small island economy like ours, we are able to control the last two factors. Accordingly, the government has embarked upon an economic and socio-political reform agenda as the foundation of its sustainable development framework, particularly in the area of good governance. Fiji has made significant efforts to strengthen this aspect by developing a culture of sustainable and democratic good governance that will become the dominant political thinking and behavior of the people of Fiji. The aim is to bring about a government restructure that is truly participatory, consensus-oriented, accountable, transparent, and follows the rule of law. It assures that corruption is minimized, the views of minorities are taken into account, and that the voices of the most vulnerable in society are heard. Land reforms in initiatives are also being carried out to ensure a meaningful and maximum exploitation of our abundant resources. Additionally, the Millennium Development Goals have been integrated into the People's Charter, Strategic Framework for Change, and the roadmap to ensure successful implementation and achievement of the MDG targets. Co-chairs, for the remaining five years, Fiji is convinced that the addressing of these challenges truly calls for in innovative approaches matched by right institutions, committed programs, justice and equity in sharing of resources, and above all, a stronger and committed global partnership. In this connection, the government of Fiji is committed to undertake 
a comprehensive national analysis of progress in MDG implementation, develop national breakthrough action plans for MDG acceleration, revisit its mainstreaming and integration policies of MDG into national development plan, formulate efficient domestic resource management for MDG achievement, and conduct regular monitor in assessing of MDG progress. Co-chair, in conclusion, the Secretary General was right in saying inability to achieve the MDG targets would be an unacceptable, unacceptable failure from both the moral and practical standpoints. Back in the year 2000, Fiji committed itself to achieving the MDG. We continue to hold true to that commitment. As a government, we know that any benefits to be accrued from our success, it will fall squarely on our own people. The world leaders foresaw that 10 years ago, we are committed to making it a reality. Distinguished co-chairs, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention. أشكر وزير الخارجية والتعاون الدولي والطيران المدني